What's up guys, Rick Denham here, Holy Moly Outdoors. Thank you so much for joining us today because we are back for another Tech Tip Tuesday. We are in the later bit of September, the week after the Everett Coho Derby, and we have a lot of fun things to talk about. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned today because we're gonna touch on some bank fishing early tributary coho. Stay tuned. So like I said guys, we are bank fishing for early tributary coho salmon. We finally had our first really big push of rain in this fall and it drove a lot of fish into the rivers for this first weekend. So now we are really in the mode of transition. You still have fish in the salt water and fishing has been good, but areas of the salt water are starting to shut down as quotas are met and seasons are ending. So it shifts options a little bit. When you start having these fish show into the rivers, we now have the opportunity for the bank guys as well as boaters, but bank focusing today, an opportunity for you to get out and catch some of these really awesome and fresh fish. So we're gonna cover a couple quick things for these aggressive fish when they're hitting the rivers as the rivers are dropping. This is the perfect time to get out after some aggressive fish. So. Personally, I usually, if I'm bank fishing, have two rod types with me. I have a hardware rod and a bait rod of some sort. Because really these fish are going to be aggressive. They're going to be fish that are going to respond well. Uh, especially after a high water on the drop, this is your chance to get out and get these fish. So, first we'll go over a hardware setup. And I have two different types of lures for that. So, going for hardware, you can go spinners or spoons. And personally for coho, as many people use, spinners are super effective. I won't discount spoons, but I'm going to leave that to another video. But for today, focusing on the hardware of spinners, we have a couple options. So many of you know that I like to go with the Wicked Lure. So these are some of my favorites for coho and fall salmon in general. So I am always carrying with me a Wicked Lure or two. So I am ready to go. Now I, a couple of colors, I really love the pink and silver and the pink and chartreuse because it covers many of your water conditions. There's a pink and blue as well that also is dynamite and then your darker colors work well when the water is a little bit clear. But these are a different type of spinner guys. You guys have seen some of my other videos. These are not your normal where all the weights on the spinner in line with itself. This is a free sliding spinner on the line where the weight is attached three or four feet above and really gives you ability to swing this presentation through the hole and really get aggressive fish to go. So this is my first choice if I am going after some really aggressive fish. If I know that I want something with a little bit different presentation and still stick with the spinner, you can go something that has more of a weighted style. Now there's a couple different types as well, so this is where it falls into whatever your preference is, but spinner focus, we have a weighted style, more of a torpedo like this guy. Now this happens to be, I believe, a River Fisher hoochie spinner, works really well. There's a lot of other companies and brands, heck I even make my own. So spinner with a weighted body like this torpedo style sinks a little bit faster in the water with the direct contact. Then you can go something to more of a belt style where you can hear that ring. This happens to be a size five Vibrix, really effective and works well in that pink and silver color. Or you can go something like a staple of these K&D sprocket spinners. Chartreuse and orange are two probably of my favorite and widely used colors for coho. Pink works really well, silver works really well, blue works really well, but it seems you can get a lot of reaction strikes from aggression out of orange and chartreuse. So what happens then when these fish aren't as aggressive towards the spinners, but they're still biting, maybe a little more pressure? I turn myself over to a dick knight. And I have one sitting here. So I turn myself over to the dick knight in these situations. You can find you can get these fish to go in many different situations using these. 
whether these fish are super aggressive or they're a little finicky, a Dick Knight is always something to have in your arsenal. The 50-50 color here in a size 0 happens to be my absolute favorite. Um, the size 1 is another great color. Size, so um, you're looking at basically a wee Dick Knight, size 0 or a size 1 here and really works well. Other color to take in consideration if you open up a box like this for storage, over here you have our Nickelback Frogs. And I can go show you the video up here on how to take all your Dick Knights for storage like this. Nickelback, Frog, and the 50-50 Coho Killers right there. But, like I said, I always carry a second rod with me, and that is a float and bait setup. I have found so much success fishing bait for Coho because you can really dial it in to fish that want something different want something that they're going to just hone in on natural instinct and just slam them. Nothing's more fun than watching a bobber go down. So, general float setup, typical inline, just like I would for salmon or steelhead. But what differs a little bit is I make sure on the business end of this that I have an appropriate hook size. So I'm at least running at a minimum size 2. Um, if I'm running smaller baits, but typically a size one or one aught is what you want. But I have what you see here is a sliding bait weight. This is key to making sure that your bait gets in the zone. So if I'm running something like, for example, we'll use here one of these X Factor Tackle egg clusters, I can quickly get my bait in the rig as I would to fish it normally and I can set everything together put this in the bait loop and I'm ready to go so if I have a big cluster of eggs heck if even if I wanted to I could get away with fishing something as simple as this egg cluster and you'll see it looks really natural so a small cluster of eggs ready to go and that bait loop helps present that thing perfectly in the water and the bait weight gets it down in the depth just like that so full of fish and eggs I've also covered a video on doing that with the X Factor Tackle product go ahead and look at that up here as well but fishing bait super effective don't discount that a lot of guys if you can go through a hole first with your hardware you might pick off an aggressive fish if you're in a deeper slot you may not be able to fish spinner so much but a dick knight slowly retrieved works really well and then always have a float and bait rod because you can come back through and back clean up but that's a quick simple tip for you bank fishermen on these early returning coho that are fresh and bite, bright to the system. They're biters, they're ready to go. These fish are out there for you to target. So hope you guys really like this video. Thanks so much for joining us today. Give us a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe. We so appreciate you being here and there's going to be a lot more stuff here coming soon. So as always, we'll catch you on the water and thanks again. Fish on!